Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Bold and the beautiful teasers for this Friday, May 17, Hope Logan will visit John Finn Finnegan's office to provide updates on Deacon Sharp's wedding news, as she will be paying him at the hospital. Deacon informed Hope that he and Finn will soon be getting married to Sheila Carter, and he is now hoping that Hope would be there as well. Hope is actually Deacon's choice to be Sheila's maid of honor, and he is relying on her to convince Finn to be his best man. Even if Hope isn't positive that Finn would agree, she will at least forward the request and acknowledge that Deacon would really like it. Hope appears ready to defend Sheila even if she may not be delighted about it since she wants Deacon to be happy. Finn could concede, though, that since Steffi Forrester delivered him a harsh ultimatum, things are more tricky. Finn cannot communicate with Sheila in the future if he hopes to save his own marriage. Hope might be taken aback by Finn's admission and recall how willing he was to give Sheila another opportunity. Hope may encourage Finn to make this decision on his own because she is fed up with Steffi making decisions for everyone else. Fans of B&B &B will remember that Steffi persuaded Thomas Forrester to travel to Paris with Douglas Forrester, and in Friday's episode, Hope will gripe about it. Hope may behave as though it's always her way or the highway since she still has a lot of problems with Steffi. Finn will always support his wife and respect Steffi's viewpoint on all the Sheila drama, but that won't make him any less eager to be close to his biological mother. Although Hope won't be sure Finn's going to accept, she'll at least pass the request along and admit it'd mean a lot to Deacon. Hope may not be thrilled about standing up for Sheila, but she seems poised to do it anyway since she wants Deacon to be happy. However, Finn may admit things are complicated since Steffi Forrester gave him a stern ultimatum. If Finn wants to keep his own marriage intact, he can't have any contact with Sheila moving forward. Hope may be surprised by Finn's admission and remember how eager he was to give Sheila another chance. We might see Hope give Finn a nudge to make this choice for himself, since she's tired of Steffi making choices for everyone else. B and B fans will recall how Steffi convinced Thomas Forrester to leave for Paris with Douglas Forrester, so Hope will complain about that in Friday's episode. Hope still has plenty of issues with Steffi and may act like it's always her way or the highway. Although Finn will defend his wife and understand Steffi's perspective on all the Sheila drama, that won't stop him from wanting to build a relationship with his birth mother. Our predictions suggest Finn may backtrack on his answer to Steffi's ultimatum at some point, so viewers will be anxious to see the obstacles ahead in their marriage. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Steffi and Finn will face more struggles as this story moves along, so don't miss all the conflict. Viewers will be eager to witness the challenges that Finn and Steffi's marriage will face because our predictions indicate that at some time, Finn may retract his response to Steffi's ultimatum. According to spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi and Finn will experience more hardships as the plot develops, so be sure to watch all the action. The Thursday, May 16 spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful indicate that Liam Spencer became worried when Steffi Forrester gave updates on her visit to Sheila Carter. But Steffi was adamant that she wanted to advise Sheila to keep her distance and threatened to hold her accountable if Sheila ever got too close to her family. When Steffi offered Liam an ultimatum, Liam griped about John Finn Finnegan's primordial bond with Sheila, but Steffi argued Finn made the decision to choose her. Liam believed that Steffi shouldn't have to issue a command to her spouse to take action, but Steffi insisted that Finn understood her very well. Sheila would never again be a part of Finn's life, in Steffi's opinion. On Thursday's B&B &B episode, Sheila informed Deacon Sharp, seen Kanan, about Steffi's irate visit when they were at home. However, Sheila reassured him that Steffi was acting appropriately and that she wouldn't let Daddy down. 
Deacon said that he had asked Hope Logan over because he intended to inform her about the engagement when he heard a knock at the door. Hope still felt as though she was seeing a ghost, so she welcomed Sheila awkwardly when she came in. Sheila offered Deacon an excuse to conduct some errands, which allowed him to confide with Hope in private that he intended to marry Sheila shortly. Deacon stated that having Hope at the wedding would be the one thing that would make him happy after defending his second chance with Sheila. Deacon knew Sheila felt the same way about Finn, so even though Hope was apprehensive, he genuinely wanted his daughter to be present at the ceremony. After a time, Deacon said that he had intended Hope to be more than just a guest. He suggested that Hope be Sheila's maid of honor and Finn be his best man. Deacon believed his very persuasive daughter might persuade Finn to agree with his recommendations, but Hope was not amused by her father's ideas. R.G. Forrester informed Brooke Logan at Forrester Creations that he thought highly of Luna Nozawa and that they could get past what had occurred at the guest home. Having stated so, R.G. wanted to forget about the events of that evening. R.G. predicted with confidence that there wouldn't be any long-term repercussions, and Brooke only hoped that wasn't the case. Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, informed Luna that she wasn't pregnant in the design office and displayed the test results to support her claim. Relieved, Luna ran over to the beach house to see RJ. When Luna finally ran with RJ there, she became very emotional at his pardon and declared her undying love for him. RJ didn't want Luna to hold herself responsible for anything that occurred because she was sick of being awkward. Now that Brooke was back with her, she chastised Poppy for drugging her own daughter and acting so carelessly with her special mints. Poppy argued that Brooke would never understand how awful she truly felt and that she didn't need Brooke to compound her humiliation. Brooke protested that Poppy had turned their children's life upside down and claimed that it didn't make up for her previous error when Poppy pointed out that she no longer took the special mints. Liam complained about John Finn Finnegan's primal connection to Sheila, but Steffi insisted Finn chose her when she gave him an ultimatum. Although Liam felt Steffi shouldn't have to give an ultimatum to get her husband to step up, Steffi said Finn heard her loud and clear. As far as Steffi was concerned, Sheila would never be part of Finn's life ever again. At home on Thursday's b and episode, Sheila gave Deacon Sharp, seeing Kanan, the news about Steffi's angry visit, but she assured him that she was on her best behavior and that she wouldn't let Daddy down. There was a knock at the door, so Deacon admitted he invited Hope Logan over since he wanted to tell her about the engagement. Hope awkwardly greeted Sheila once she entered since she still felt like she was seeing a ghost. Sheila excused herself to run some errands, which gave Deacon a chance to privately confess to Hope about marrying Sheila soon. After Deacon defended his second chance with Sheila, he said the only thing that would make him happier is to have Hope at the wedding. Hope seemed hesitant, but Deacon really wanted his daughter to be part of the ceremony, and he knew Sheila felt the same way about Finn. Deacon eventually confessed that he wanted Hope to do more than just attend and pitch the idea of her being Sheila's maid of honor while Finn served as his best man. Hope was thrown over her dad's suggestions, but Deacon hoped his extremely persuasive daughter could get Finn on board. At Forrester Creations, R.J. Forrester told Brooke Logan that he believed in Luda Nozawa and said they could work past what happened at the guest house. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.